What's good YouTube? It's your boy AJ Okiwi here and today I'm going to be showing you guys an unboxing slash a tutorial video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys an unboxing of lube straight from thecubicle.com and I'm going to be showing you guys a tutorial on how to lube your cubes. <laughs> YouTube. So today I'm going to be unboxing this lube I got straight from the cubicle.com. Um, this is the, I believe, the silicone speedy lube. I'm not sure. It's just the cubicle silicone lube. Yeah, the cubicle silicone lube. And it's, I bought weight 3 and weight 4. Weight 4 for the core and weight 3 for the pieces. The reason why I bought such higher, the, um, the higher weight lube was for the fact since um, I have a weight on GTS so I wanted to like kind of like slow it down just a little bit to make it a little more controllable um, I'm also gonna be lubing my Elon V2 over there so let me just get this open real quick and this is the first lube I've ever had I've never actually had a real lube alright so here we go see we, here we got the lube straight from the cubicle we got the silicone weight 3 right there and then we have the silicone weight 4 Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take apart the cubes so that I can show you guys how to lube them. And I'm just going to start off, I'm going to lube the weight long GTS today. I'm going to show you guys how to lube this. So I'm just going to take this apart real quick. Alright, now i got the cube finally taken apart. And now I'm going to open the package of lube. Alright, here we got the lube, and here we got the the tip caps. We'll put that there, and here's the weight four. Alright, so when you get your lube, you're gonna have this little like lock on cap thing. So what you wanna do is like before I start, I'm gonna put a piece of paper down just so I can catch like the extra lube in case anything falls off, you know, so nothing sticks. Just makes it a little bit easier, more organized. Alright, so here we got the lube right here. And then you're gonna have this black cap right here. This is the locking cap that basically holds in all the lube from spilling out and all that. So what you wanna do is take this out. All you really have to do is hold and twist it. Yeah, it's pretty easy to twist, take out. Now be careful, you don't wanna tip it over or anything at all, it's just so you don't spill the lube out. Now you wanna take one of your um, dispenser caps and then put it on. And now you got the lube. Actually, yeah, I probably should have started off with weight four since I need to wait. I need to loop the core first, so I'm gonna put this back on just so I don't spill anything. All right, we're good. All right, so I'm gonna take the weight four because you usually want to put the heavier weight on the core. You know, like the core pieces right here, springs and all that. And then you want to use the lighter weight, which I'm using weight three, to put on like the, the pieces. So I'm gonna take off the weight four cap instead. Easy. And I'm gonna put the lube back on, or the dispenser cap. Alright, now we got the lube all there. So hold on, I'm gonna try to get rid of these air bows real quick. So from what I've seen from other people doing, you just wanna pull back on the syringe slowly. Slowly. There we go. And then you just wanna, like, pull the face down. Lube shouldn't come out. And then just leave it face down, something like this, just so you can get the air bubbles out. Uh, no lube should come out, so uh, once I get the air bubbles out, I will come back to you guys. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. And what you want to do is you want to take your heavier lube, the one you're using on your core, and you want to take your core and do this. So you want to like pull, like so you you can do this for all six edges, all six pieces. You're gonna pull it, so like you see a little spring. I'm gonna see. Let me try to get this to focus. There's a little, see that little gray spring right there, right there. You wanna pull it and then lube it right there, like just a little bit, and lube it all around there. So I'm gonna do that right now because it's gonna be hard to pull up close. So I'm gonna take a little. All right, so I'm new to this. So I'm gonna try to take this really slow. I'm gonna push really slow so I don't get a drop out. I'm taking my time because I don't know how fast this lube comes up. As you can see, the lube's coming out to the top. See, so I got a dot. That's all you really want is like a, is a dot like this, and it's already dripping. Oh gosh! Okay, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna do this real quick. 
I'm gonna put this down right here so I can just take a little bit and then just rub it around. Rub it around with the little spring piece connecting the center cap to the core. So see what I'm doing just rubbing around there. I'm sorry I can't, I'm gonna try to get a little bit closer. If it would focus, hold on. I'm sorry the camera's not focusing, I can all have any other hands to try to adjust their focus. And I'm just, this is all one drop by the way too. Remember, I'm only using like one small drop and I'm just rubbing it around as much as I can. And that's pretty good. I'm gonna take this little dab right there and I'm gonna do it to the other side. So I'm gonna move this over real quick. Then I'll pull this a little bit out. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Sorry, it's really hard to see. Because my hand's kind of covering it. Alright, so that's that's two sides done. About done. And um, I'm gonna skip ahead and loot the other four. You wanna do you wanna do this to each four of the pieces, each four of the edges out here. And I'll get back to you when I'm done. Alright, now I'm back. Now I got all six sides lube with the with lube. I'm just gonna spin around a little bit to just try to spread it around a little bit. As you can see I do have a little bit of lube on my fingers. This is my first time losing a cube, so um, yeah, bear with me. Not the greatest yet. And this is, I'm using weight four, so it, it should slow this down a little bit to make the weight along just a little bit more controllable. All right, so the next step what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take your pieces and reassemble the cube. So I'm gonna reassemble this cube and speed it up a little. All right, now when you finish assembling your cube, you want to leave two spots open. Now with these two spots open, that's where you're going to take your other piece of lube, the, the lighter weight, the one you're going to use for your pieces, and that's when you want to do this. So what you want to do is take the last two pieces that need to go in. Um, I'm going to start with the edge piece because it's easier to put in the edge first. Um, what you want to do is see, you want to like put lube. Hold on, let me focus this. What you want to do is put lube like on like the basically in the whole edge right here like all around it you know right here up here on the tops on the sides of it and you know just all around the sides the sides and then you put it back in because then when you put and you only need this for one edge piece and one corner piece on the side because then it, basically once it goes here and you move it around it'll basically just spread the lube around so you don't need to use a bunch so i'm just gonna take like i said as you can see the loops coming out. Ooh, oh god, that's a lot. Yeah, that's why you have to be careful. That one just squirted a lot. That might be too much loop, but I'm just. Alright, now that you got that, you're gonna put that back into its regular spot. And let's keep this tight now. There we go. It's kind of tight cube right now. And then you're gonna do the same thing for the corner piece. You're gonna put, you're gonna do put the lube on for the corners. You know, on the stock of it, around there, up top, right there on the sides. And I'm gonna try to put take a little bit this time. I'm gonna just drop it down there since that was a lot. Oh my gosh, I'm using too much lube. That's a lot of lube. I'm wasting the lube. Yeah, rookie. I'm making rookie. Mistakes. Uh, that should be good enough. I'm gonna pull this back so no more loop comes out. Put that to the side. And now I'm gonna put the corner piece back in. Hopefully this won't be too hard. 
because this cube is pretty tight right now. Okay, yeah, it's pretty tight, so I'm gonna... Dang, look how greasy my hands are from all that lube I got on. Uh, I'm gonna skip ahead real quick. I'm gonna skip ahead real quick just so I can um, loosen this a little bit and put the and put the corner pieces back in, and I'll get back to you. All right, now I'm back and I got the lube in and I got the corner pieces back in. So now what you want to do after you pull the lube in and put the corner pieces back in, you just want to kind of like scramble the cube, spread it around, spread all that lube around, you know, get it all around the whole entire cube. Right, it does feel a lot smoother, right? You can tell because it feels quieter. Now uh, this wasn't the best lubing job because you know I am kind of new to this, but I will. I would get better at practice with it. But it does feel a lot better, I can already tell. All right, now I got the other side lubed and now we're good. So basically, um, I got scramble down, I mixed it up and I'm just gonna do a little, one more last little quick solve. Oh, there we go. All right, so yeah, but overall on the review for the lube, be a silicone lube. Uh, I would highly recommend it. It's really easy to use. It's pretty cheap too. Um, this is five cc um, of lube, and it only costs three bucks each plus shipping, which isn't too bad. So I paid about like eight, nine bucks for both of these for the weight four and the weight three in total. So yeah, it works really well. Um, the silicone is really nice, and then um, it comes with the syringe, which is really easy to use. So I would highly recommend you guys check out the lubricant, uh, the cubicle. I will leave a link to their um, website down in the description if you guys would like to purchase any of their lube and so that's all I got for this video guys um, if you guys liked it enjoyed please drop a like and subscribe for more content uh, it would really help me out I am just starting off the channel this is my third episode I believe so uh, any feedback comments dropping a like any of those would really help uh, boost my channel and just help me grow slowly and slowly so thank you for watching guys and as always it's your boy Cubing, and I'm signing off